Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have another Dev Channel Insider Preview Build rolling out for this week, which rolled out on the 22nd of June. And this latest build for the Dev Channel Insiders is build 23486. Now there's quite a lot going on this week uh, in the Dev Channel. And just to dive straight in, and because there's quite a lot to get through. So what's new, in case you're interested as to up-and-coming new features that could possibly roll out to stable versions of Windows 11? Um, Microsoft, just to mention this, is focusing quite a lot on passwordless improvements, where they say they believe that the future is passwordless, according to Microsoft. And they say that pass keys will allow you to replace passwords when you sign into a website or application that supports pass keys. Um, they say that they are improving the pass key experience for Windows users. Um, you can now go to any app or website that supports pass keys to create and sign in using pass keys with the Windows alone native experience. And once a pass key is created, you can then use Windows alone, which is face or fingerprint pin, to sign in. Over and above that, you can also use um, your phone to complete the application logon process. And um, Microsoft does say that... Um, you can manage pass keys saved to your Windows device by navigating to Settings, Accounts, Pass Keys. And then on that a Pass Keys page, you will then be presented with a list of all pass keys saved to your Windows device. And you can then search and delete any pass keys from your device. So that's now um, passwordless improvements. Um, pass keys now been tested uh, in build 23486. Now, moving on to the next, and this is actually quite a controversial change now that Microsoft has decided to roll back, so to speak, where in a previous build, 23481, as I did mention, and I think that was actually last week's build, um, Microsoft said that they were going to be deprecating some of the folder options settings, um, where they say that due to feedback, the folder option changes in File Explorer that they re that um, removed a handful of old settings in build 23481. They've now decided to roll this back due to feedback. And um, they do say, though, as is normal for the Dev Channel, we will often try things out and get feedback and then ju adjust based on your feedback. But this received a lot of negative review uh, because Microsoft was going to remove the following features from the folder options uh, menu. And I'm just going to mention these quickly. Hard folder merge conflict, always show icons, never thumbnails, display file icon on thumbnails, display file type information on folder tips, hard protected OS files, show drive letters, show pop-up description for folder and desktop items, show encrypted or compressed NTFS files in color, use sharing wizard. So a lot of those options apparently were still being used by numerous users and due to the negative feedback Microsoft now has basically reversed their decision and rolled back the changes, and um, that's now in this latest Dev Channel build. Now, the next um, is regarding the uh, Dev Home app. And I have actually mentioned the Dev Home app before when it comes to widgets, and I'll leave a link that, uh, down below to show you how you can actually pin some widgets for your, your CPU performance, uh, your memory, and your GPU, and so on to your widgets board. But nonetheless, um, Microsoft say that starting with this build, uh, Dev Home is now an inbox app, where currently in the stable version, that is not the case. So in a future flight, um, Dev Home will be found um, via your start menu, just to show you quickly, it'll be via your start menu, uh, your all apps, and then your Windows tools. I've got it pinned to my start menu. And so Dev Home app is going to become part of your Windows tools, which I actually think when it when and if it does make its way down to the stable version, will be a nice move, as I always say, uh, in the right direction. Now, moving on to some other changes, and just to use a couple of screenshots for these, um, dynamic lighting was a feature that did roll out previously. And... Um, there are new effects that, that are now available for dynamic lighting, um, which is found uh, in the um, Dev Channel from the Settings Personalization Dynamic Lighting page. And uh, um, apparently there are now uh, wave, wheel, and gradient effects, um, if you would be interested in the dynamic lighting. And moving on to the next, uh, this is regarding the uh, Unicode Emoji 15, which began rolling out with build 23475, which Microsoft says is now available to all Windows insiders uh, in the Dev Channel. And then the last screenshot for the purpose of this video, Microsoft say they are improving the user experience when changing time zones 
including cases of low confidence in location data. Now, what is happening here, it displays, as we can see, I don't know if you can actually see that properly in the video, but here at the top, we get this little banner. Um, uh, it now displays a non-dismissible notification for accepting or rejecting the change and prompts the user and prompts the user for confirmation before adjusting the time zone. And over and above that improvement, uh, Microsoft said they are, they are also improving uh, the location settings when they are disabled. A warning now is shown to the user um, urging you to enable location settings to ensure accurate time zone adjustments. And um, over and above that then, because this is the dev channel, uh, there are numerous fixes that have rolled out. Um, a fix for dynamic lighting, there are, there's a fix for input, network, task manager once again gets numerous fixes, and then it is early days, so there are plenty known issues because obviously this is early days with new features that are just starting to be tested, so there are always a couple of known issues uh, for the Dev Channel insiders. But nonetheless, that's what's new. Uh, in this latest build for the Dev Channel, build 23486, which started rolling out on the 22nd of June, 2023. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.